So hey, if you um if you want to go back to the house and talk to yep. the guide, working. Throw your uh, mushroom in the guide, and he'll he'll show us what we can. Why can't I pick that copper coin up? There it that is. That sounds dirty. Why? Throw your mushroom in the guy. <laughs> it's a little dirty. Oh, it's getting dark already. Oh boy, slimer out. Yeah, so we had uh was trying to get trying to get Ash's game going earlier and oh man, is that So I threw my mushroom at him, it didn't do much. No, I meant cl click on him and go to craft and put it in the little window. Oh my goodness, I got a bunch of loots. Ha ha, I found a chest. Ah uh, uh. trying to get her game set up and we turned it on and it was working. Um and we were making her little character, and it kept glitching out real bad. Like, the color scheme would just suddenly glitch. And it was getting real annoying. And so I didn't know if it, you know, had something to do with with uh, trying to... Because, you know, you're, you're playing with slider bars and stuff and color stuff. I didn't know if that's what it was. So, Right. <sighs> Unfortunately, it looks like it got even worse in-game. So, I'm going to have to look into alternate means. Come on, Jeff. Because what I ended up doing was using, I think, Wine Bottler to create an instance where it literally opens steam inside wine and mm. just for Terraria. Because, you know, she's got the, the Mac Steam client. <clears throat> Does Terraria not have a, a nope. Mac version? Nope. So everybody has these wrapper workarounds and stuff. <laughs> Alright, so... Check it out. Hold uh, on. Let's go... Put my... Oops. Uh... It's, huh? The NPC's name is Jeff, right? Jeff, yeah, that's him. Will he jump? Nope. All right. Well, I just built a little wall to keep him. Well, I th think he'll jump a little bit, but not real high. No. Check it out. Boop. Boop. I found chests. Ooh. So once you uh, uh, once you loot them, you always break them and bring them back if you can. Oh, hey, recall potions. I got a shuriken. Oh, sh sure, good. That's a Very throwing fun. weapon, isn't it? Yep. Very Got nice. Three of them. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot about these ropes. Check this out. Let me grab. Um, how do I get half of them? There we go. Oh, I got enough wood. These ropes are so cool. So you can collect these, you know, in chests and stuff and, and pots and whatnot, and you can actually throw them up on a wall. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a little rope that you can jump into and climb up. It's so awesome. Hey, I got iron bars, too, from that chest. Um, glow sticks, I guess. I'm not really going to need those. Uh, night owl potion. That one's really cool. It gives you invis uh, visibility, increased night vision. Oh, and I got a fleeting, fleeting aglet. So that gives me increased movement speed. And I'll stick that in one of my accessory slots. And we get glass bottles. Very nice. I still can't craft a sword. Yeah, we may need an anvil. So let me see if I've got enough. I have an iron bar if you need it. Uh, yeah, give it to me. I got five. There you go. Okay, so let's open this up. Where is the anvil? Anvil. Wow, it took four, so I barely had enough. Okay. Um, oh, man, we're out of room already. Right here. 
Yeah. So now, another thing to note is that you can't break a chest if it has items in it. Dink. There we go. Now we got the anvil. We got tons of more craft. Tons of more crafting. <laughs> Do, do, do. Copper broadsword? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. How many does it take? Uh, yeah, all the copper I had. Eight, nice. I would say. Nice. I had, I have five. So, oh, I have iron ore. Smelt down. A lot more torches. <laughs> Hey, I can make a fishing pole. <laughs> Alright, so in one of those chests, I put rope. Um, if you want to carry those... Okay, those ten rope, you can make into a rope coil. So you need ten to make a, a rope coil. And... Here, I'll show you real quick. Say we Climb up a line here. of rope. Uh-huh. Um, well, we don't really have... If, for instance, you were going like straight down or something, you could, or you know, trying to span a, trying to span an area in particular, like right here, you mount, you mouse over it with your inventory and then throw it. Boink. Ah, okay. So. So water is pretty much death then. Yeah, at this point, there's all kinds of. Um, gills, potions, and stuff you can make to breathe underwater and stuff if you want. Uh oh, yeah. zombie got in. Break down the door? No, it's probably just a dark area. Uh. You know, that's it's tough to get spawnable areas all covered when you're underground like this. Cause, yeah, because technically all this lighting. I think as long as it has a dirt background, it's still a spawnable area, maybe. Oh yeah, because there's a demon eye down here. Come here, broadsword. Ow! Threw him into me. <laughs> oh, I see. You found yeah. You found all kinds of water. There's glowstones in the chest up there. If you want to grab those, you can throw glowstones in the water. I just covered it up. I saw that. That works. Wah, wah, wah. Did she just friend request you on Steam? Or is that your Xbox? Xbox. Ah, okay. Hope I'm not ruining Halo Night. No. She had headed to bed early. Okay. It's been a long week. That's gonna be a long long next week. Here so we be we be moving. That's right. Ha! Ah, I got jellyfish. You're so jelly. I'm so jelly. Cobwebs, those are good. You can actually use those cobwebs to make silk. Hmm. Which can be used for all kinds of cloth stuff. I might have to give Aramok a ring too. He was always we we had started doing a terrier thing a while back and then you know, time. Yep, see, I can't place him on the background anymore with this dirts. I, I, I wanna say it's man, I, don't, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> yeah, he likes doing uh he likes terraria magic stuff. Because there's a lot of really cool um Wands and spell books and crazy stoops. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, jellyfish are aggressive, so <laughs> kinda counterintuitive. Yeah. They're not I mean, they're painful, deadly, but... but... <laughs> yeah, they're aggressive. 
And so, yep, see, I got a glow stick. Boink. <laughs> Boink. Um, let's see. Other important things to know. You know, obviously you have the limited range that you can place and break blocks. What's cool is that the, uh, the different picks actually can... This basic copper pick is really short distance, mm -hmm. but you actually get a little bit more distance when you upgrade. Like this is more, yep, copper. Use your ropes. <laughs> Back it of it down here, yep. Hey, blink root. Whoa! Uh oh. Did you get poisoned? Haha. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so. That blink root you picked up was good for making potions and stuff, too. Um, let's get down here. Oh, I bet. You know what? I bet sand or uh, something fell on you. Ah. Like, I'm taking damage and I don't know what from. Or mud or something. Well, no, there's. There's an XP bar down there. The hell is that? Yeah, there's something. It's stuck in the wall now. Only you. Yep, pretty much. Trying to get underneath of it, see what it is. Oh, you got it, huh? Tell me, I'm letting out this water. <laughs> yeah, I was, always, I was trying to get under it, but <laughs> I didn't want to flood that until I knew it was down there. <laughs> Don't care. <sighs> It'll still be down there. My iron, damn it. <laughs> Not anymore. My iron. <laughs> Thirteen says, I'll be hell I'll be damned if I drown. I'm going down. <laughs> uh watch this nice. Nope, nope. <clears throat> yeah, what's really weird is that the slimes will float on the top of the water. And they'll just skim and skip across the top of the water until you... That's not fair. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Let's see... Ah! Oh, jeez, we just ran right over this copper right here. Oh, I should have brought those return potions. I found. Oh, I know what it was. It got you. <laughs> what was it? It's called a dirt trap. I just picked it up. Ah. And it was it was set to uh, it shoots anything directly in its line of sight or whatever. And I think it. Hmm. It's got a line of red wire here. So there's this stuff that um, you can get. A little later on, uh, once we uh, once we get some NPCs, one of them will give you um, one of them will give you like this. It's basically like kind of like redstone wire, red wire, mm -hmm. and you can actually run it to light switches and stuff. And <laughs> um, you can make these really cool blocks. Oh, damn jellyfish! You can make these cool blocks that are stone, but you can toggle them on and off, so they'll go from foreground to background. Huh. It's really neat.
What do we got here? <gasps> I got a forceful enchanted boomerang! Yeah! <laughs> Say that like I have any idea what it means! <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's a boomerang. So, and it's kind of imagine. And it's forceful, but it's enchanted. So, forceful is like a modifier. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's a, a random enchant, kind of. I guess. Yeah, basically, that's exactly what it is.